Oh Lord, man, look, we just got our next order. Tell me why DoorDash just played me. Oh my goodness, man, we was doing good and now they sending me to a whole new area. She came out with a $10 bill in hand. Nice little cash tip. So let's go ahead and confirm that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Today we're going to be raising our acceptance rate once again. Make sure you watch this video all the way to the end. It say it's busy. We're going to do some DoorDash earned by time. $15.25 an active hour. We dashing in Wood River today, guys. Let's go ahead and hop up in there and see what our first order going to be. Now, yesterday, I was able to get my AR up to 36%. We only had one no-tip customer, and I was actually getting pretty good offers yesterday. They only sent me one order that was crazy miles. It had like 10-mile delivery distance on it. Look, I had to decline that one. It was the only one out of the whole day that I declined. I'm quite proud of myself. And then the biggest one is like Northwest. But I'm not trying to go all the way over there if I can help it. Let's Let's hope that they send me some deliveries right here in this little bubble keep the radius to maximum three to four miles outside of this little bubble and i'll be good to go because that other that other hot spot that i'm seeing on the map that's at least eight miles away no can do not trying to go all the way over there actually that might be closer to 10 miles away so yeah from where i'm at right now i would like to just dash in this little bitty bubble right here we schedule for 30 minutes, and then once this dash ends, we got another dash starting immediately after, and that one's going for an hour and a half. So we got time to get a few orders done. Will they be good? Who knows? First order of the day, we got 3.7 miles, Casa, Casa Romero. Never been there before, but I guess today's going to be the first day. 3.7 mile delivery distance on this one, Casa Romero. And I just got a message that the order is ready for pickup. So we're going to be heading up there. This is one of the things that I like about dashing in a different zone is you get to check out some new merchants, pick up from some spots that you haven't been before, maybe even find, you know, a, a new spot to eat some lunch at or something. Wait, so we're parking for this place. Oh, right here on the side. Perfect. Boom. Casa Romero. Let's pull up and see what they got going on. Oh, that's a nice little building. Okay. All right, who are we picking up for? Let's, we arrived. Haley. Haley has steak tacos and so fundido. All righty, do I go in over here or over there? Probably over here. And, ooh, nice. We got a $3.29 tip, $3.05 in base pay. I love it. That was a great first order, great customer. Thank you so much, great customer. We appreciate you, the whole community. Let's see. Let's get a screenshot. Boom. Let's see if we can get another order in quickly. Head back over to that area I just came from. I didn't see any orders, any other orders inside that restaurant, Casa Romero. But this one was sitting there waiting on me. It is an earned by time offer. You're more likely to see offers that have lower tips or no tips. But that one had a tip that was more than the base pay quite unusual it was a quick drop off and i like that i appreciate that because my main goal is getting that acceptance rate up so i can maximize during the dinner shift because as of right now i'm not trying to go out at nighttime because i'm not going to get the good orders of the dinner of the dinner shift i'm going to get the long distance deliveries the ones that's not so favorable send you really far out of the way no i need those high paying offers that's going one to two miles away in my preferred zone so in order to achieve that we're going to get our acceptance rate up Using earned by time in a Man, I zone. thought and we was going to get something. We got Burger King, Arby's, Jack in the Box, and McDonald's. And we still down the street from Casa Romero. 15 minutes, no offer. I guess, you know, this is a slower time of the day. And I ain't getting no offer. So I, I got that one, and that's it. And just so happens, the zone right below me say busy. But that's literally where I just came from. And I'm not going all the way back down. Now, like I said, I got another dash scheduled up here. I'm going to probably have to wait about... 20 minutes before I can sign in on that one. But we finna go ahead and try to get some orders done up here. Because I know what my market like is on a day like today at a time like right now. So I'm, I'm cool with waiting up here. You know it's a Walmart right down the road. I'll go do me a Walmart Spark order real quick. 20 minutes go by and then I'll be able to hop right back in on Earn By Time. I just got $27.16 for three miles shopping pay. I'm gonna go ahead and take my time, knock out this spark offer, and then we're gonna turn DoorDash back on. 
Yes, sir. We got our next DoorDash order. We got estimated time of 16 minutes. Pick up at Subway, 2.4 miles. Good to go right there. I'm going to go ahead and take that. It actually don't even look like two miles, but we'll see once we get closer to the drop-off. Oh, we I ain't never been to this Subway before. Let's see if they got it ready. Just picking up for Jerry. Say they got a frequently missing item on this order. I wonder how frequently they missing that item. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. Pick up window. Finally got the order. Took them like 25 minutes, man. This is crazy. They got all day inside customers together first, and then they made the DoorDash order. If I wasn't on Earn By Time, I ain't even gonna lie. I'd be pissed right now. But you know what? I am on Earn By Time, so I'm not finna be pissed. I'm finna head to this delivery destination, and we finna get this moolah. Let's throw that seat belt back on. Confirmed. Order dropped off. Woo! We got $8.66 in base pay. $3.50 on the tip. 34 minutes. The drive was three minutes from Subway to her. It took Subway 25 minutes to make two sandwiches. Like, come on, Subway. This is why earn by time is good sometimes during the slow periods because. Ain't nobody trying to wait 30 minutes at no subway during peak hours where you getting good money. But when it's slow and I'm going to earn my time, oh yeah. I Man, today is just not the day I thought it was going to be, you know. I only got two orders done so far on two separate shifts. Oh, Lord. Man, look, we just got our next order. Tell me why DoorDash just played me. Oh, my goodness, man. We was doing good and now they sending me to a whole new area. I got an order just came in 6.8 miles at McDonald's, right? But guess what? It's at the McDonald's all the way in Troy. How I'm getting orders all the way from Troy, this order say 6.8 miles, it say 6.8, but it's more than that because check this out, I'm not even over there. So now, I, and of course I accepted Bruh. it, but now if I, if I decline this, like it's gonna mess up my streak of getting my acceptance rate enough, so I took it. I'm not happy about it. Look, we about to head on over now. This is crazy. Sir, you getting that money? You doing DoorDash, man? No, you doing Uber. You doing Uber. DoorDash. Are you doing DoorDash, too? Yeah. How you liking it, man? I love it. I'm trying to get that bonus right now. I heard that. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. All right, so we got our McDonald's order. The thing was ready, but shoot, it better be ready from how far away we just came from. Hey, yeah. All right, so 1.4 delivery distance, that means... If I take 1.4 miles and I subtract that from the total miles on this offer, which was 6.8, that would leave me with 5.4 miles. So that means I traveled 5.4 miles over to this McDonald's to pick up this order. That's crazy. But at least on Earn By Time, you get paid for all your active time. So from the moment I accepted this order, all the way over her, from the moment I accepted this order, and the five mile drive all the way over here, five and a half mile drive, I was paid the whole time. I've been on this order for 15 minutes. So if my base pay is $15 an active hour, I've been on this order for 15 minutes. Yeah, I see why they didn't want to go pick up this McDonald's order. They got all construction right here on this road. They even got a little bit of construction on the road leading up to their house too. Look at this, this is crazy. I see why they didn't want to go get this McDonald's order now. As long as they tipped a few dollars, I'm cool with it because I've been on this order for at least like 25 minutes now. One of these houses is gonna be their address, but which one is it gonna be? Okay, we right here. I should've checked my acceptance rate before I picked this order up because I should be at 38%. But I did see somebody in the comments say that your acceptance rate sometimes might not go up until you complete your dash. Well, it definitely didn't go up anymore yesterday. So let's go ahead. We got it dropped off. What's it gonna be? Show me something. 
One dollar tip? You cheap bastard. You cheap bastard. It was a one dollar tip on that order. They lucky my next order just came in lightning fast. We got Jack in the Box, 2.7 miles. They lucky. Whoo, they lucky. 2.7 miles at Jack in the Box. We heading over there. Let me check this acceptance rate. It better say 39. That's what I'm talking about. 39% acceptance rate. We making our way up there. Let's get it. We heading to Jack in the Box next. Now I can at least not be mad about what just happened with that last order. But I'm going to tell you what. I know it's construction that way. So I'm going this way. All right. So we did make it to 39%, which is freaking great. So I ain't got to lose my mind. You know, we got like 11 more percentage points to go. But I'm trying to see. I don't even know if this place is open on the inside. Yes, they are. I see a few people in there. Let's see if they got my DoorDash order ready. We're picking up for Andrea. Oh, I see a bag. Hell yeah. Thank you. You too. All right, guys. So we just got our next order. Heading back over here towards a nicer area. We got 4.4 miles at Firehouse Subs. Woo! Oh, man. DoorDash just, they, they, they got me on edge right now. Because I know, I know it's just a matter of time before they send me a crazy distance delivery. And I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. If it's something that's like 10 miles, 12 miles. All right, let's get this thing dropped off. One friggin sandwich last customer only took me one dollar oh my god zero dollar tip zero dollar tip look at that shit zero dollar tip these raggedy bastards zero dollar tip God damn. I was doing good too. And now we done finally caught a non tipper. Alright, well, we're sitting at 1566 now. Let's see if something else is going to come through. That's crazy, boy. Them people didn't tip nothing. Something told me they was going to be a non tipper too. Look at their damn house. Bad news. That was a no tip offer. We drove 4.4 miles and only made three dollars for the whole man. I'm 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 pissed off. I'm pissed off. But at least I'm at 40 percent, so I'm not as pissed off as I would be because we heading in the right direction. We need 10 more acceptance rate points to be at 50 percent, and uh, I only got 30 minutes left on this dash right here. I got another one scheduled right after this, but. They need to go ahead and send me another order because after that right there, that just basically drove for free. $3 on a four mile trip, that's upside down. That customer, they could, they all they had to do was tip $2 and I'd have been like, you know what? It wasn't the best order, but it was okay. But $3? Oh no, I'm mad about that. We, we, we need to, we need to recoup. We need to regroup. And I'm getting, I feel my blood pressure rising. Nine miles at Five Guys Burgers and Fries. Yeah, I guess I'll take that. I just bought me a five-hour energy. Let's go ahead and knock that out. We got the Five Guys Burgers and Fries. They got a lemonade, too. Let's go ahead and confirm this order and see how far our delivery distance is. Hopefully, it's not a hand to me. Nope, not a hand to me. So, we got three-mile delivery distance. So, that means that if I'm three miles away and when they sent me the order... It came in as a 4.9 order. That mean I was two miles away. Let's get this thing done. Yep, we got a daycare delivery. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. No, I appreciate you. You the best customer I had all day. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a good one. You too. Well, you can't ask for nothing better than that. You got it right on camera. You seen it. She came out with a ten dollar bill in hand. Nice little cash tip. So let's go ahead and confirm that. Let's flip this camera around real quick. Boom. Let's confirm that. That's awesome. $10 cash tip. Probably going to be no tip in the app. Let's go. $5.63 in base pay. I will take that. I will take that. Oh, and we just got our next order right away. 
Looks like we're going to be heading to Hawaiian Bros. DoorDash earned by time. Now, the thing is, it says 5.7 miles, but uh, I, I got to go back that way anyway. So we, we definitely taking that. Let's go ahead and accept that. And since I already know which way I'm going, let me just look at my ratings real quick because I need them to go in the right direction. Yes, sir. 42%. Almost an, almost our eight more percentage points and we'll be good to go, man. We pulling up to Hawaiian Bros now, and this is how I know they playing games. I always get an add-on when I come to Hawaiian Bros. Like, it never fails when I'm on Earn By Offer. But Earn By Time, I'm not getting my add-on. That would be an easy way to get myself up to a 50% acceptance rate. But without them add-ons, you just one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. You know what? It is what it is. They got curbside pickup over here and a spam musubi. Well, guess what? We got that thing in the car, in the bag. Let's get to their delivery destination. I know it better be a tip on this order, man. Wait a Look, minute. We only had to deal with one nine tipping son of a gun today. Oh, my God. And that's about as much as I can handle. So I need the rest of these customers to throw a couple of dollars on that order. What's this? Hand to me? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Southeast toward Troy Road. Why, why, why? You know what? It is what it is. That last order wasn't a hand to me, but I ended up handing it to her and she handed me $10. So shout out to all the customers that throw cash tips on them orders. Good old hand to me apartment delivery, man. You gotta love it. You just gotta love it, man. You just got to. You don't got no choice. Let me see, man. What is these people even doing? Number five, ground floor. It better be ground floor. What is going on? Ground floor. Oh, it's ground floor for real. Where is number five at, man? These folks is tripping. And let me get my can. Let me get my photo ready. I'm taking a picture. Talking about hand to me. I'm gonna hand it to you, all right? So if you can't take a picture right in the app through the messaging, open up a support tab. Click the look question mark in the top right corner go all the way to the bottom and you hit dash your help once this pop up right here then you hit the little message box right there and it'll open up a support chat and then order is delivered is what you're gonna type and then you're gonna submit a photo of you handing them the food which is what we finna do right now so let's see if they even write her and ready Let's see, we finna see you right now. We're going right here to number five. Let's see if they hear it and if they ready. Oh, it's number five right here. Nobody. Hello. Oh, hey. Yeah, hold on, let me get a picture though. Boom, thank you. Okay. You too. All right, and just like that, you can get a picture, and now we're gonna send this picture to support like that so they know the order has been delivered. We got a support chat with the picture of me handing them the order. Now we will confirm this delivery because now is no way they can lie and say they didn't get their food. Boom, we good right there. So let's go ahead and get out of this support chat. Let's confirm this. Boom, complete delivery. I know Galen better had tip. Nope, non tipping son of a bitch. Wait a minute. Fuck. Another non-tipping son of a bitch. Man. Oh, my Another. God. And see, that's why. That's why right there. I'm glad I took that picture. I'm so glad I took that picture because if I didn't. Man, ooh, stop man. playing with me. What? I'm so glad I took that picture because if I didn't, I'd be like, is this person going to report that I didn't deliver that order? That's crazy. Another non-tipper, boy. I cannot believe it. It's like we heading right back to Hawaiian Bros. We got 4.1 miles, estimated time 21 minutes. Let's get it. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. They could have gave me this dang, they could have gave me both of these orders at the same time. They be so backwards sometimes, man, it makes no sense. Let me see what's going on on this order. Oh Lord, I think we might be heading to the college campus, guys. No, actually we not heading to the college campus. Thank goodness. Oh my goodness, thank goodness. But we still got a nice little drive though. GPS say we gotta go three miles over towards the college campus. Hopefully we just dropping off to one of their parents or grandparents that actually got some self-respect and throw a tip on that order. 
Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness, we got a double whammy. It's a hand to me and leave at desk at the same time. Like, what? what is wrong with these DoorDash customers? Boy, they don't understand how the app work at all. Make sure you get a picture. All right, we got a three dollar tip, three fifty seven on the base pay. Nice. I was getting kind of worried because whenever I see hand to me and leave at door, it's usually not real good. Man, we've been out for basically like three hours and I only got them few orders done, man. This is crazy. Like I know it'd be slow in the daytime, but man, this is crazy right here. Let's go ahead and see how we are doing so far on the acceptance rate. We getting close, but man, I feel the slowness and I know they're gonna try to send me like 10 miles away. So I'm about to go ahead and hang it up right here. Now it's saying 42%, but this mug better go up to 43, man, because they playing with me on these orders. We gonna get to that 50% threshold, we will. And I hope that we can do it without dropping no crazy delivery distance, guys. Look, I'm done for right now. I'm gonna come back out and do another shift later on. If you enjoyed me suffering, dealing with these nine tippers, not knowing how much money I'm gonna make till I drop off these orders. If you enjoyed any part of this video, you know what to do. Hit that like and that subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next one.